Well, are you ready for the future? This is it. Um, good ways and bad ways that Canon introduced it first. Um, good for Canon, since they're the first to announce it, so they get the publicity, but it's also great for Nikon, because you never want to be the first on something, because uh, when you are, then uh, that leaves you open to say, well, here's their product, here's how we're going to top it. So that's exactly what Nikon is doing right now in coming out with the Nikon D5. They're going to check the attributes and the spectrum of capabilities on the uh, 50 megapixel new Canon, which is going to be, what, five? What is it? 3,800, basically 4,000 dark camera. Uh, 50 megapixel. The only thing that's special about it is a full frame sensor with a DX pixel density. Um, obviously, huge upsides and huge downsides to that. Uh, the awesome thing is, is that uh, if you want to crop the dog piss out of a picture, um, you could uh, zoom way the hell in and make the most gorgeous model look like hell, uh, which I've already talked about this before. So you got awesome uh, crop factor as far as uh, post-processing. Of course, you're probably going to have to uh, whip out your smoothing filter in Photoshop because every little freaking flaw is right there ready for you to look at. Well, she sure, this, this uh, pretty looking model sure does have one hell of a hairy chin. Actually, she's got more hair on her chin than I do. That's um, <laughs> a major, down, major downside to a 50 mega... What's the other major downside? You think you got a fast computer? You haven't got crap. All this does is give an excuse for Apple and other people to uh, come out with a bigger, better machine. Everything is tied to everything else, okay? Apple doesn't make computers. What do you mean Apple doesn't make it? The monitors are made by LG and Samsung. The processors are... Uh, um, are made by Intel. The motherboards are outsourced to China. Apple doesn't make anything. Okay, they're assembled from various places and parts. Nikon uses uh, Toshiba and Sony sensors. You know, they rely on Lexar and Sandus. Each hand scratches the other one. They all scratch each other's back. Um, it's innovate or die. You can't come out with a Nikon D810, which of course is already out there, and say, Hey, this is awesome for printing out uh, large poster prints. And it is. You can't sit back on your laurels or you'll perish. Every company knows this. They always have new crap down the line to sucker people in. It's like, well, you know, we're not suckering you. We can see the capabilities. Here we got a, a, a shot Let's uh, uh, from the uh, Canon 5DS 50 megapixel. It's like, well, what can we do with this? Well, you can zoom the crap out of it. And uh, you can uh, really, and if you want to process it though, you're going to need a faster computer. And oh, by the way, SanDisk and Lexar are making these new, new cards, which for the next, we've all agreed, we've all collaborated together. These cards are going to be insanely expensive for the next two years, and then they will rapidly drop in price. But before those two years, uh, SanDisk is going to get just filthy, 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 filthy rich. And uh, we're going to get filthy rich because you're going to want to trade off your old crap even though it's not crap and buy new crap because it's uh, got a huge uh, sensor in it. Even though we know you're never going to print out anything larger than 20 by 30, you know, oh my god, you can't deny how awesome the, uh, the pictures are. Well, by the way, of course, now instead of 32 gigabyte cards, what you're really going to need in these new uh, CFast cards is like a 500 gigger. You know, the minimum, very minimum, like a 250 giger card. It's like, oh, really? Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, it, it's awesome, all right. You're going to need uh, totally different cards to buy. You know, we've collaborated with SanDisk for that. You're going to need a faster computer. And uh, so, you know, all of that. So everybody is uh, buttering their own bread on your desire. To, well, I've got the latest and the greatest on the block. I got the fastest... Uh, camera and it's got just this uh, awesome 50 megapixel sensor in it uh, however you know i've never known for the past 30 years where i actually had to go in to like this level and uh, crop on uh, somebody well she's got a lot of hair on the end of her nose there doesn't she she's also got uh, got a hairy lip she needs to do a little see this this sort of detail 
you know, there's this old saying that's like, if you need to get in tighter, you should probably uh, zoom with your feet um, and maybe compose your shot a little bit better. You know, you know what doesn't make up for a 50 megapixel sensor that you could later on crop the hell out of? Uh, using your feet and getting a little bit closer. That might be one thing. Yes, that's right. And you know how much that costs? It's it's free. Well, Nikon doesn't. Nikon or Canon are not interested in free. They want you to have something. So anyway, this is the next generation of camera. No ifs, ands, or buts. What is going to happen is that full frame cameras like the D750 and E810 are going to be relocated to. Uh, at like uh, advanced amateur level, all of them are, and uh, the DX sensors are going to one of two possibilities. Highest likelihood is that they're going to uh, rapidly fade as like entry level cameras, so like D7100s and whatnot. They're going to be in the class of like current D3000 or D5000 series cameras. You know, Nikon obviously is still going to make very cheap uh, entry level cameras for people that want to get in on the game. But that's what's going to happen. Uh, I propose that they actually call the new uh, sensor format FFX, which is a combination of full frame and X for extra, and also a add-on of like the X and DX, because basically what it is is an FFX, which is a full frame with DX pixel density. That's all it is, and uh, Nikon and Canon have been sitting on the car, and they've been waiting on the gasoline. That gasoline is the fastest processor po possible, which has actually already been out there for some time. Uh, but the important thing was the uh, the cards from uh, SanDisk and Lexar and others. Um, you know, Nikon and Canon are going to get as rich off of this. Can actually, SanDisk are actually probably going to be the people that uh, make the most money as far as profit margins. Uh, because uh, Nikons are still greatly made by hand. And uh, Nikons are actually not cheap to make. There is actually a lot of uh, physical labor involved in the production of them. Um, so SanDisk is just happier than a pig in crap about uh, the next wave of... Uh, Nikon and Canon went to them. It's like, we've got a new generation of camera. We're going to include a full-frame sensor with DX pixel density, but the files are going to be Titanic! We need you guys at Sandus to, uh, you know, to uh, make something just super, super. Well, we were already in development of that. We saw that. Kind of, they've been collaborating now for the past three and a half, four years. This is not like, oh, this is something new. No, they've been working on this for years. You know, until they roll this out, this is what they'll be touting. I mean, they'll be touting what they currently have, but uh, this is what's going to happen middle of uh, next year. Uh, unquestionably. Nikon's definitely going to roll out the uh, the D5 or whatever it is they want to call it. They're going to roll out, I don't know, they got maybe an, uh, a Nikon D900 or a Nikon D850. And uh, actually the processors are going to be throttled. I hear they're 62 plus megapixel, I mean not the processors, the uh, sensors are going to be throttled. They're uh, technically like 60 or 62 uh, megapixel sensors. Uh, but for sake of the buffer and the processor and uh, the write cards, the uh, the sensors are throttled, which is good news for Canon and Nikon because what that means is that uh, a year after the middle of next year, what they can do is they can unthrottle the processor and instead of making a 50 megapixel sensor, then they will come out with a 62 megapixel sensor, which is exactly the same sensor except unleashed and unthrottled. That saves them a fortune in production costs, and it uh, will increase their sales drastically. This is how big companies work, like it or not. It's innovate or die, and save every buck possible. So, this is what's coming down the pike, folks. Uh, I can guarantee it to you, 150%. This is it. So, get ready for it, and uh, I guess that's it. But this is definitely what's coming down the hole. Catch you later. Bye.